Okay, so this is a demonstration of using the VGA on the Altera um, D2115 board. So I've created a project here and the top level module is VGA wrapper. And these modules were the ones provided for you. So here's VGA.SV. And um, so I've created that for the, to target the D2115 board. And so now I'm going to import the pin assignments. I'm gonna browse to where I put those, which happens to be in downloads. And import that. And click OK. And now we'll compile that. And over here, while it's compiling, we will um, look at the board. So I plugged in the board, and I have, you'll notice there's a little um, written, you know, right now the way I'm looking at it, it's backwards, but it says VGA on the board here right here in um, white silk screen, right above the word analog devices. And so I'm gonna plug my VGA uh, cable in there. And of course I have my programmer cable coming out over here on the top left. Um, and you can see it's doing the default program when I start it up. And so you'll notice that the, um, this, the display is just showing this kind of default image. And so if that doesn't show up, it means you have some connection wrong um, right when you start it up with, before even programming it uh, there's something um, wrong with your with your hardware either your cables not connected correctly or um, usually that's the culprit okay so now we've compiled that so we're going to go to tools programmer and we're going to you know make sure usb blaster is selected up here at the top left of our programmer window and then I'm gonna click start. And we're gonna look at the progress bar here up on the top right. And so it's succeeded. And so now you can see that we're displaying the letters, A and then B and then C, depending on the Y, right? That's the vertical value of the pixel. And then we have a green, it may look like white in my uh, video, but it's a green box here on the bottom, um, just depending on the X and Y values. And you may need to toggle um, the reset button or the reset switch here um, before it displays. So make sure you do that. And if you need to look at where that is, you can go back to your Decordis and see where we've mapped that. So we can look at the wrapper and uh, you know, left to right, switch to zero. If we expand that hierarchy and look at VGA, that's that second input to our VGA module, the reset button. And as you can see in VGA wrapper, we've mapped that to switch. Oh, here it is, to switch zero. So that rightmost switch on the FPGA board.